writing. Okay, uh, our next reader is Nacho Rodriguez. Uh, he is a Venezuelan Canadian writer and former journalist. Uh, he's been living in Victoria since 2001 and has published two books, Hidden and White Lies. Uh, he, this is his fourth time participating in Pride in the Word, and he has very lovely boots on as well. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Nacho Rodriguez. Oh, I saw him. Oh. So my stomach have people in them, so <laughs> that's a really complicated, complicated thing. Uh, before it starts, um, and I realize that I am that one, um, I would like to thank the Victoria Pride Society for hosting this event. To David for being a great advocate of it. Um, it gives us a really great venue to uh, to talk to you people. I, uh, a writer without readers or without listeners, in this case, is nothing. We're just them. Uh, on the people <laughs> And of course, I would like to thank you all for turning up. Really great to see you. Uh, I've made it kind of a tradition to actually begin my readings with uh, one of the texts that I consider most uh, personal. It's called Ink. My body is made of words, skin of ink, tattooed over muscles of ideas. In their flesh, my mind dissolves. My thoughts slide down their crevices, signing my name with desire. My body is made to fill the void. The blank paper always cares me. I am word and body. Like that, before you, I surrender. Okay, first one. Now it starts getting better. <laughs> 1001. Come, tell me a thousand stories. Make me forget death and forgetfulness. Clean my face so full of past. Spill in the cemetery that I am a thousand new images. Come, tell me a thousand stories and then another with your veiled and constellated voice. Make me forget the thousand and one night a thousand lonelinesses, and then another. I feel like I should be following Lot's example. <laughs> Sweaty gets down there. That's clothing, it would no. <laughs> no. Carry on. Complices. Lo saben todo. Nos han visto. Son nuestros cómplices. Susurran los secretos con caricias. No te preocupes. Los ángeles tallados en mi piel. Nunca nos delatarán. Now, if you didn't understand that, this is one of the first time, one of the few times when it will be true that people tell you it's not due, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm just going to play that out. <laughs> Aria. Maria Callas sings her pain, and my soprano heart cries with her. The embraces I haven't got burn my skin. As my lips taste the kisses I never gave you, as my loneliness and your silence fill the empty spaces you left behind. <laughs> now, I debated to whether I should read this one or not, because it's about a person who is actually in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is actually a true story. It happened uh, the last time that I participated in Pride on the Word. And uh, anyone who actually knows me knows that it's really, really difficult to make me blush. Normally I make myself blush. 
But this person managed it. And this person is going to blush. <laughs> Ivan E. Coyote kissed me. <laughs> I won't even make you wash under your guilt. <laughs> Ivan kissed my hand. And I wished I were a lesbian. <laughs> the lipstick kind with stilettos and a short skirt to seduce her. Ivan kissed my hand, and I wished he were a gay guy, dangerous and rebellious, but charming and kind. Ivan kissed my hand, and I blushed like a schoolgirl, and mumbled, thank you. <laughs> so I to catch my breath. Absence 
presence is as infinite as the air. It surrounds me. It fills every space. I carry it within me, in my lungs. Tears ran down his face when I said, don't give me your heart. He couldn't understand. I didn't want his blood on my hands. Would you like a bag? She asked with a smile. No thanks, I'll wear them out, I said, referring to the box of condoms. <laughs> Another true story. <laughs> uh, I left before security. <laughs> I'm going to wipe off that cocky green off your face, I told him while removing my pants. I should have known that wouldn't do it. <laughs> Phantom limbs, I still feel you around me after you're gone. Burning with desire, soon all that are left of me is ashes. Your body gives me silence. When I hold you, my mind grows still. Keep in a cool, dark place must be the storage instructions for your heart. <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh, the last one. And picks up on the first one that I read. I am word and body. Strip me of either and there's nothing left. Thank you.